Hey, I heard you guys were having a party. Oh uh, yeah, but you gotta you gotta dress up a little more to be in here. Really? I wanna be in this party, bro. I'm not invited. It's crazy. The world can feel like that. They can shut you out. Um, and that's gonna continue to happen. The world is a lot of times now um, in your new life with Jesus Christ, um, they're gonna shut you out. They're not gonna like the way you're doing things. Um, and that's because you're not part of the world. You're in the world. Um, a lot of times the world could put so many things in front of you and they look so good. It looks so tempting. It looks so um, fun and you know, I just want to be a part of it because I remember when I was in high school, um, I would like to go to parties and um, just show up and stuff like that to feel a part of something. You know, a lot of us want to be a part of something. We want to be a part of those groups, we want to be a part of the, the popularity and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and a lot of times the world will put so many of these temporary things right in front of you that we try to grab those things that are in front of us to fill a void that we're going through, fill um, whether it's sadness, depression, loneliness, um, whatever it is, a lot of times the world will put those things. And I, I like to call those things uh, um, temporary pleasures. You know, I think this, the world we live in has so many uh, temp, uh, temporary fixes, you know, and like I said, this is a uh, temp agency. Um, and a lot of times those temp, those temp things that we, we see and we wanna just grab hold of, to make that sadness go away, to make us feel better. Those don't line up to what God's word says. Um, and having that new life with Christ, we have to get rid of the old ways. And a lot of times that's not easy. It isn't. It's us picking up our cross on a daily and continue to fight that good fight. Um, and a lot of times we want to be a part of those crowds and we want to be a part of the, the, the party groups and stuff like that. And um, I wanted to read a scripture to you guys. Um, and on why it is, you know, God is telling us to throw, throw away that old self. So it's in uh, Ephesians 4, and I'm going to start from 17. It says, here is what I'm telling you. I am speaking for the Lord. I warn you, you must no longer live as the Gentiles do. Their thoughts do, don't have any purpose. They can't understand the truth. They are separated from the life of God. That's because they don't know him. And they don't know him because their hearts are stubborn. They have lost all their feelings for what is right. So they have given themselves over to all kinds of evil pleasures. They take part in every kind of unclean act. And they are full of greed. But that is not the way of life in Christ that you learned about. You heard about Christ and were taught about life in him. What you learned was the truth about Jesus. You were taught not to live the way you used to. You must get rid of your old way of life. That's because it has been made impure by the desires for the things that lead you astray. You were taught to be made new in your thinking. You were taught to start living a new life. It is created to be truly good and holy just as God is. So like I'm saying, a lot of times we have to stand firm in what God says. And we have to know, even when we're rejected from the world, God is telling you, it's because they don't know him. When they're telling you, we don't like you, we hate you, there's no love in that. And you know, if there's no love in them, you know there's love in God. So they're not a part of him, we are. Continue to stick with him and he's gonna stick with you and let them see that light. A lot of times, Jesus says you were led and helped being brought to um, 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 to your uh, your lowest point where you decided to make that decision to giving your life to Christ. Maybe they'll see the light in you and want what you have. Um, so here it is. Um, you guys have a blessed week and I will see you later.